Okay, welcome to day two. So I have my paper and my fine to medium uh, black marker. I wouldn't do something too thick for these doodles. And like I mentioned yesterday, I use a square sketch pad. So that's why I trace this rectangular shape because I'm assuming that you're probably using possibly computer paper or scrap paper, um, but any size paper is fine. And so now if this is your paper here, we're going to outline the shape just like yesterday. I'll remind you every day that the lines and shapes do not have to be perfect. In fact, I like it when they're imperfect. Create step depth and movement. So we're going to do flowers today, but a little different than the little flower shapes that we created yesterday. So the flower is going to look like this, a circle. And then for the petals today, we're going to make them really skinny. So they kind of look like this. So you can go around just like this. Now you can overlap them. So that would look something like this. So now I'm just going to curve this over and then I'm going to bring this one around and kind of overlap it. But that's completely up to you. You don't have to do that. Just trying to make them really skinny. And you're going to carry these shapes all the way around. So basically, I think the reason doodling is so great and so satisfying is because just doing this, it's a repetitive pattern. So it very naturally calms your mind. Okay. And now once you're done with your petal shapes, you're going to come to the inside of your circle of, of the flower, and you're going to make a bunch of circles, kind of like yesterday. They can go to the edges of the circle and it's okay to have that little bit of blank space because then when you're done making the circles, you're gonna fill in all the spaces. Okay, and then once you're done with that cute little flower, pretty close to the edges of the petals, you're just gonna outline each one and you're gonna go all the way around. And then once you're finished with that, you're going to repeat that all over the page, as many as you'd like. And again, you can go off the page and some can be big, some can be small. Try not to overthink it. Just doodle away and we'll meet back here when we're done. Okay, I'm done with my flowers because I want to leave a little space for some leaves. So what we're gonna do here, very randomly, again, not thinking too much, is just create a leaf shape. It can really be any leaf shape you want. I'm gonna keep it really simple. And they can absolutely overlap wherever you feel like you want them to go. And again, we're still leaving some space to color in at the end. So wherever you just want, wherever you want those leaves to go is just fine. Just gonna randomly go all around the page. This is what I would be doing if I was 
doodling by myself anyway, just kind of playing and exploring. And definitely not thinking too much. You might want to overlap the leaves, create a bunch of layers. And I think that's about it for me. Okay, so once you are finished with your leaves, doesn't matter what the shape, you're going to come back around and just create little veins. So a line and then slanted lines on each side. Sometimes I make the lines straight across. Sometimes I only do a couple. This is really up to you to play. Sometimes I let the lines go all the way to the edge of the leaf. Um, but this is what's happening naturally for me today. So go around the page and fill all of the leaves with beans. And then we will come back and finish up. Okay, I'm almost done with my little leaves. And I, again, I think I mentioned this. I really hope this inspires you if you've never doodled before. So just play and have fun and just do it whenever you can. Because even when I'm doing this tutorial, I was just thinking before, I haven't checked my phone in so long. It's such a great feeling. Um, okay, so we're going to finish up by creating little circles in between all the blank spaces to start. Then after we create little circles, we're going to color it in. So it's going to look like this. Little circles. You can overlap. You can go to the edges. And then just start to color in. You know, sometimes I bounce around the page. Sometimes I only do one side. There is no right or wrong. Okay, so you're going to just create these circles in the blank spaces. I love the coloring in part. Just coloring in. It's very, very soothing. So this is going to look really cool at the end because what we're doing here is we're kind of showcasing the inside of all the flowers by repeating it in the background so everything will just pop. So let's do that and then we'll meet up and finish up. Okay, so we're all finished day two. It looks so cool. It was so much fun doing, and I hope you had fun too. Like I mentioned yesterday, sometimes I take a look at it, and then I go back, and I start doodling on something that I think I'm finished with. And as I'm looking at this, I am probably going to go back and just create little lines in the flower petals, just all the way around the edges, not too far out, just to add a little bit more depth. Just coming all the way around. So you could do that or not. It's just something that I noticed. See, got a little more depth there. So I will see you tomorrow for day three. Please share your work. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me. I would love to hear from you. See you tomorrow.